important is fitness to you in the summertime? Fitness, I think it's important. You've got one body. Take advantage of it. Fitness isn't just about like going lifting weights and running and you know doing all that. It's also just staying af- active. Fitness to me is working out hard, being dedicated, and eating right. Fitness is health. It's keeping your body young. You don't have to get old. There's no such thing as old. You just get better. And you do it by keeping fit every single day. I like it. That's what fitness means to them. Now the latest in fitness trends on It's Your Call. CNH's Emmy Award winning It's Your Call with Lynn Doyle starts now. Hi there, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lynn Doyle, and if you're like me, fitness takes on a whole new meaning during the summertime. But sometimes even the thoughts of bathing suits and shorts don't inspire us as much as we'd hope. Some of us still need a bit of a push to get in shape. Well, tonight, we hope to have that push for you as we spotlight the best of this year's Philly Fit Bash, which is sponsored by Philly Fit Magazine. Now, tonight, we're going to give you some great advice on how to jumpstart your workout or to rev up your daily regimen. So we want you to look your best on the beach this year. You're going to hear about the latest craze in exercise. It's called Latina dancing. You are also going to see some new gadgets designed to help you out during training. And we'll tell you how to pick the personal trainer who's right for you. We're the Sixers dancers, and you're watching It's Your Call with Lynn Doyle. I'd say what motivates me to be fit is just football because you have to be fit to play football. To To decrease obesity and stay healthy heart-wise. Having a long and fulfillment life, you know, longevity is important. A couple reasons. Hanging out with my kids, doing sports, that's what motivates me. Uh, My motivating factor is that it's bathing suit season. I hear you, girlfriend. (laughs) That's what motivates them. How about you? What does it take or what would it take to get you moving this summer? Well, we're going to have some ideas that we are sharing, but we would love to hear from you with your thoughts and suggestions as well. So go ahead and email me or take our web poll at cn8.tv. Now, on to this year's Philly Fit Bash. This gathering of more than 80 health experts, vendors, and services was a virtual smorgasbord of fitness and fun with more than 2,500 people in attendance. Our It's Your Call correspondent, Kyle Schmoyer gives us a glimpse into some of the day's events. Well, yes, there's absolutely something for everyone here at the Fit Bash. Right now, I'm inside the de-stressing tent having a little massage on my back. Feels good. Now, let's take a tour around to see what else we found at the Bash. is we've got so many things in the local area, it's so hard to find. So the Bash is putting it all in person. As you know, we've got Philly Fit Magazine. Everything, you can read about it, you can see it, there's addresses. We thought, why not put it in person, come out and see us, touch it, feel it. I think it takes several times of thinking about fitness before you actually act on it. So we say, just go find something to do, anything health and fitness, it's a good start. So let's start with the little ones who often can use a jump start when it comes to fitness. Well, you know, obesity is on the rise. You know, you go into the preschools and it it seems like the majority of them are overweight. We want to get in there and stop it early and give them the reason to why they want to exercise and make it fun. So we basically focus on trying to get the kids moving, get their heart rates up, and teach them how to be physically fit and uh, healthy lifestyles. I make rock and roll fitness for kids and for families. And it's all about the fun. It's all about the fact that when you hear wonderful music and you want to share it with your family, you want to get up and move to the music. We're trying to fight a national epidemic here of obesity in our country. And it's not enough to just be a couch potato. You've got to get up there and move. And we want to make it so much fun that people forget that it's really exercise. It's all about being fit. It's all about you know not having that perfect skinny body, but being fit inside and out and sharing that joy of moving and kinesthetically your body around in order to uh, stay fit. That's the idea. You need to be playing to have fun, to learn, and it's natural for people to, for children and people to be curious and and to want to learn. So as long as you take 
take all the pressure out of learning and keep it fun as it naturally is and it's successful. For the slightly more mature crowd, how about an exercise to strengthen their dating skills? People that are fit would like to date people that are fit. We're going to try a uh, mini date express, which is a scaled down version of our regular mini date. Um, people just talk to each other for about six minutes. We ring a bell. The guys go to the next table. We have these little sheets that you write down um, who you'd like, you know, if you want to see the person again as a friend, find them interesting. Um, if you want to take them out for a drink, take them to dinner, whatever. It's all about uh, writing your things down on the card and then just passing it to the person. So if people are coming to the Philly Fit Bash, chances are they're into fitness and if they're into fitness and they're coming to do the mini date express they'll be meeting people that are also into you know the same type of thing humans not the only ones making connections here Fido and his friends got into the fitness fun too Pet fitness is important because if you feed your dog right from the beginning, it will continue to be healthy all its life. It needs exercise, it will be a part of your family. These dogs that we've brought up, most of them are coming from shelters that are in trouble, don't get a good start. And when they come up here to us, the most important thing that we can teach someone is how to take care of their dog correctly so that they can have a long, happy life. Hi, this is Marty, and I, my name is Dr. Leah Garland, and Marty is a foster dog, and I'm going to do a chiropractic adjustment on him today. I'm doing chiropractic adjustments to help um, restore mobility into the dog's spine. It helps with arthritis. It helps with mobility. And then when we do the cold laser, we're going to promote uh, speeding up the healing of his spine. And it's a really great way to keep them um, feeling better and functioning at a higher level. And of course, de-stressing isn't just for the dogs. It's an important aspect of feeling fit for everyone. Yes, even me. Well, that was just a little taste of all the fitness and health type things we saw here at the Bash. As for me, I'm going to continue to de-stress and say bye-bye from the Bash. See ya.